too. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. And I know why you're here. Mm hmm. You're here for that smell good, man. You're here to listen to me talk about that smell good. All right. Uh, welcome back once again, guys. My, my, my name is Desert L. Hicks Jr. And of course, as of course, as always, I appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel and uh, seeing what I got to say today. All right. So, um, my smell good family, man. I, uh, you know, I got blessed with some gifts for, for from Christmas, man. So, uh, me and my family do a whole secret Santa deal, and uh, I was blessed with two new fragrances, and we're gonna talk about one of them today. All right. So, shout out uh, to my sister Breon uh, for showing love. She, you know. She looked out for her for her big bro, <laughs> so I really really appreciate that. So um, this fragrance is interesting. I've been interested in it for a while. It gets a lot of pushback. It gets a lot of trash talked about it, but also it does get love. Um, uh, you know, some of your popular uh, YouTube fragrance reviewers have a love for it, and some of them don't. And just general people who I know personally, you know, feel divided as well. But I'm here to just keep it real on how I feel about the fragrance. And before we get into it, I guess I should introduce what we're talking about. Uh, none other than from the house of Paco Rabanne, we have Phantom. All right, we have Phantom. All right. Yeah, look at that bottle there. <laughs> look at that bottle. So, um, you know, how we do Secret Santa around my house, you know, we, um, with my family, you know, we take a list, we write down three things, you know, that we might be interested in, and, you know, we put it in the hat and we draw a name. So, you know, I thought to myself, this might be a good opportunity for me to, you know, get some of the things that I might not be pressed on getting, and we'll see what happens. And the Phantom fragrance was indeed that. All right, so jumping right into it, I had smelled this previously once, but I couldn't remember what it smelled like. But I was so intrigued by the app thing, and you know, the, you put your phone on top of uh, the top of the fragrance, and then the, you know, the video of the robot comes on, and he's supposed to be your wingman and all that. It's it's crazy, it's nuts. And when I opened it uh, on Christmas, we had some Christmas music playing, and the robot was doing some dancing or whatever. So it's pretty crazy. So basically, all you do is open up your phone, take. Oh, I think you open up the camera, you lay it on top. And it opens up and it kind of takes you through this world um, of this you know robot dealing with this fragrance it's very very interesting all right but i wasn't interested in that <laughs> i was interested on what is inside of here and what i must say off my first impressions of this um it's good y'all it is good it is criminally in my opinion opinion undervalued i think a lot of people have a lot of negative things to say due to the presentation but as we talk about all the time, you know, with fragrances, we're here to, you know, talk about what smells good. And this smells good. Um, so I sprayed it on my forearm and sprayed two sprays. And it was a perfect opportunity. My mom was around, my sisters were around, my wife, of course, was around. And, you know, this is a great opportunity just for me to get a good hint on what this thing is really like. So I sprayed it on my forearm, two sprays, bump bum, and I started walking around the house. And I didn't smell it first. I let my family smell it. And they all were like, wow, that smells really good. Really nice, really nice, really nice. And then I went for a sniff and I concurred, it smells good. So what do you get? What do you get in this fragrance? Is it a mass appealing, popular fragrance that everybody is going to love? Well, that is yet to be determined. But I have five people on Christmas night, Christmas Eve night, tell me that they really like this fragrance. Inside of this fragrance, you get a lot of lavender. That is very apparent. Um, but I will say, when you spray this on the initial opening, the first 10 seconds, I almost thought I was getting ready to deal with a um, Le Mal from Jean Paul Gaultier. Thought I was about to be dealing with a clone type variant with this fragrance. But that's not the case. In the opening, you get this burst of, you know, lavender and vanilla and these, you know, oriental spices. But then it kind of fizzles out and it stays lavender. But then that lemon creeps in. 
and uh, I believe there's some lemon zest. So the lemon and the lemon zest is definitely giving you that lemony vibe with the lavender. There's some patchouli in here. There's some some smoke incense type vibe. You could definitely smell that on the dry down. Um, but when you have the opening to the mid, you definitely get a lot of lavender just doing a lot of dancing. You definitely get the hints of vanilla as well. I think this fragrance for me personally, um, I'll be wearing this a lot to the office. Um, I just kind of feel like it'd be good for the office. I'm not saying that I wouldn't wear it out and about because I would. And me guys, you know, when I'm going to handle business, and when I say handle business, you know, you know, do some more creativity. You know, I have a sports podcast that I do. And if I, anybody who's interested in that, I'll put that down below as well. Um, going to the barbershop, you know, going out and about, hanging out with my son, you know, my sons and my wife, you know, I mean, you know, just going out doing some things. This probably would be something I would grab if I'm just going to be out the house for a quick four to five hours. But I think all in all, this will have a place with me. I do like it. And I look forward to spending more time with it to give you guys a full review. But initially, I just want to talk about the uh, how good it smells compared to the hate. The hate is crazy to me. Um, I've seen a lot of hatred towards it. I know Parker Bond is very outlandish for their bottles. I mean, the one million bottles aren't ideal. I mean, obviously, this is not ideal. The Invictus bottles aren't ideal. They're all, you know... Uh, there's always something going on with a Paco Rabanne uh, fragrance, all right? And this is no difference. But I can say Invictus smells good. One million, the flankers, and the Invictus flankers all smell good. Um, this smells good. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any other Paco Rabans right away, but those are the three that really stand out. And like I said, all in all, this is a great fragrance. If you're into lavender, this is for you. It is for you. Um... From what I experienced, it, you're probably going to get around six hours of longevity, about a good hour of projection, and the CI is decent. All right, the CI is decent on this thing. Like I said, I'll be able to tell you guys more about it once I spend um, a lot more time with it. But you know, it is a cool bottle uh, that does cool things. And when you uh, you know put your uh, you know lay your phone on top of it and the app pulls up it is cool so you do get an experience with this and i think that's dope i think you know as i further my journey in fragrances you know listening to other people's opinions and what they think they're all interesting all right but the one thing that i'm holding to well the two things that i'm holding to one does it smell good and then two know your situation know where you're going this has a place this has a place and for me for right now i'll wear this to the office and I also, you know, wear this while I'm running around, you know, doing some errands. That's what I'm gonna be doing with this as of right now. That could change. For those who've been rocking with me from the beginning, you know, I kind of said those things about um, Givenchy's uh, gentleman, the Bozois flanker, and that's totally have changed. I'll never wear Bozois, Bozois to work again. That's strictly gonna be date night, um, you know, even weddings. Um, that has moved. Um, into another category for me because I spent time with it and I started to appreciate it more. So this could change. And I actually do all my fragrances like that. Um, I smell them, I have initial plans for them, and then it changes, and then it changes. And who knows, we'll see. So full review definitely coming on this um, probably sooner than later. Um, Cause with me, you know, working in the office, I have opportunities to wear this and get a good experience with it. All right, so, um, the bottle is 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 the least of the conversation in my opinion is what's inside and what's inside smells great and i'm a fan i am a fan of parker Bond's phantom all right this stuff is really really good all right so uh, if you guys have any questions or if you have this fragrance or you're you know uh, interested in you know learn a little bit more down in the comments hit me down in the comments of course the link will be down in the comment in the description as well where you can purchase this i don't believe this is on discounters i'll check but i don't think it is um so if it is the link will be there if it is not i'm sure it'll be a dillard's or nordstrom's type link down below i think retail for this is right under 100 don't quote me um but check the link down below and i have the correct price for that so one more time from the house of Parker ravon we have the highly controversial <laughs> Phantom. Look at that bottle. <laughs> Phantom. All right. Like I said, if you love lavender and vanilla, 
Um, you're gonna love that fragrance, especially if you're a lavender lover. Lover, and uh, to me, it's worth the buy and it's worth to have in the collection, okay? But more on that at a later note. All right, before we close out, guys, we're coming up on 500 subscribers, all right? So pass the channel around, send it to some people who are interested or might be trying to get into fragrances, do your boy solid, and spread the word. And as I've said before, spread the word, tell anybody, get close to them, say, hey, hey, on YouTube, there's a new fragrance guy in town, and his name is Dedrick. Junior, okay, and they too can be a part of the smell good family. Okay, so you guys be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys what you think about this phantom fragrance. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next fragrance video. All right, be cool, guys.